how to check your keyword performance for your Amazon listing. Why is this important and how can it make you money? Well, you might not be able to fully see the effect of how your listing optimization has affected that score, all right? I showed you before, you could just go ahead and put a keyword in, you can see your score move up and down, but maybe you wanna dive a little bit deeper to really get into the nitty gritty of what is going on in that score scoring system. This is how you do it. Uh, if you've got the diamond plan, you've got access to this button up here called keyword performance. So just hit the open keyword performance and it's gonna open this thing at the very bottom. And now this is how you can use this section. It's very, very powerful. Uh, first of all, on the right hand side, I've got this section called root keyword usage and performance. And it has all of those 72 root keywords, those single keywords that make up all of those phrases right here. And it's interesting because I can actually see um, how many times these are used in my listing. Like for example, the root keyword six, uh, coffin, I've got 16 times in my listing and I could see, oh, it's four times in the title. It's six times in the bullet point. Now here's a really, really cool thing. What, in which keywords do I have coffin in it? I can hit this filter button and now on the right hand side, I can see all of the keyword phrases that has the word coffin in it and which ones I've used and which ones I haven't used. And it says I've got 49 phrases that have used the word coffin, right? And then so here's one of them, coffin shelf. If I look down here, I can see, first of all, how important is this keyword? Well, it has a competitor performance score of 10. What does that mean? That means that uh, most of the top competitors are all ranking for that keyword. By the way, that's an important metric to be looking at to understand how important the keywords are. I can see title match, exact phrase, and also I have it as a field broad in the title, all right? So I have that keyword right there in the title. It says I've got it in exact phrase form in my bullet points and I've got it in exact phrase form in my description. So I pretty much maxed out the points that I can get on this keyword coffin shelf. Here to the right, I can actually see some stats about that uh, keyword. Like, should I be focused on it? Oh, wow, it's got 2,500 search volume, 20 estimated sales for a keyword. It's got a title density of 25. It's got uh, brand analytics data right here. So this is pretty cool in that it's going to give me a lot of data about this keyword. If I'm ranking for that keyword, that rank is gonna show up right here on the right-hand side. Now, this is a listing that is not even active right now. That's why it's not showing any organic rank. Uh, take this other keyword here. Let's just pretend for a, a minute that this keyword coffin knife holder is super important for this listing. Obviously not. But instantly, just by looking at this, in a second, I could have identified that, wow, this important keyword, I do not have in any phrase form or or uh, long tail form or any form at all anywhere in my listing. And if this was an important keyword, like if it has a very high competitive performance score, that's a hole in my listing. Another way that I like to do this that actually helps me with PPC is as I am making my broad campaigns in PPC, I wanna see what are the root keywords that show up most in my listing. Remember I told you Coffin has 49 keywords or 49 keywords it's in. I probably am gonna make a broad or phrase campaign in PPC for the word Coffin because it has so many uh, long tail keywords. All right, maybe Gothic. All right, Gothic has 11 of them. So Gothic is another keyword that potentially I can go ahead and use in a broad match campaign. So guys, this is really what's gonna help you understand what is driving that score because it's gonna tell you what keywords you've used, how you've used it, and where you use it in your listing. Did you use it in exact phrase form? Did you use it in the plural form? Is it just in field broad form? And if you have important keywords that don't have a good placement in your listing, it's gonna be super easy to visually see which keywords those are and what part of the listing that it doesn't even have anything in it so that you can make sure that you can go ahead and edit your listing and get those important keywords activated.